Does your printer ever randomly stop like this and leave blobs? Or just completely fail when it comes to vase mode prints? In this video, I'm going to discuss one of the possible causes for this blobbing and see if we can solve it with as little as two lines of code. Let's get started. So I've recently been reviewing a number of budget printers and on first inspection, they all seem to perform reasonably well. However, I did notice they had a tendency to leave blobs on the prints. And while I didn't think much of this to begin with, once I started trying a few vase mode prints, I realized the printers were practically unusable. But why? Well, you might have noticed that most budget printers these days offer a feature called power loss recovery. In other words, if for some reason the printer loses power during the print, your progress will be saved. This feature has been built into Marlin, the firmware of many 3D printers on the market, since Creality implemented this feature a few years ago. There are two ways in Marlin that power loss recovery can work. The first way requires a power loss detection switch on the printer board and a small backup power supply. With this method, only when a power loss is detected will the printer record its progress through the print and then move the print head out of the way. The second way uses no additional electronics. Instead, the printer is required to record its progress throughout the print. Naturally, a good time to do this is at a layer change. If you watch this clip again, you'll notice the layer change coincides with the long pause. So what's going on here? Well, it stands to reason that budget printers by nature have budget electronics. The control boards are cheap and the SD cards are cheap and just not good enough to record the printer's progress fast enough so as not to affect the print. For a normal print where layer changes occur every few minutes, you might not be bothered by the odd blob at layer change. But for vase mode prints, you'll quickly be able to see whether your hardware is good enough to perform this implementation of power loss recovery. So what can you do to save your printer? Well, if you're lucky and your printer manufacturer didn't mess around with the firmware the printer too much, you should be able to disable power loss recovery with just two lines of code. M413S0 will turn the power loss recovery off and then M500 will save the settings to EEPROM. Alternatively, you could just add the M413S0 command to the start of prints where you don't want the power recovery feature on. For example, vase mode prints. In Simplify 3D, open up a process, go to scripts, and add the M413S0 to the start of the script. In Prusa Slicer, go to printer settings, custom G code, and add the command to the start G code. Or in Cura, go to settings, printer, manage printers, and again, machine settings, then add the code to the start G code. However, it may well be the case that this G code command doesn't work because the printer's firmware doesn't recognize it. This was the case for the two printers I've recently reviewed, the Sunlu S8 and the Longer LK5 Pro. In this scenario, to turn off the power loss recovery feature, you would need to reflash new firmware. There are a lot of great tutorials on this. I'll link the one from Teaching Tech in the description below. So is it worth the effort to turn the power loss recovery off? Well, see for yourself. This here, Sunlu S8, is the same printer that before power loss recovery was turned off, was printing like this. And this, longer LK5 Pro, although not as previously affected as the Sunlu, was printing without any pauses at all after the power loss recovery was turned off. If any manufacturers are watching this, please learn. There is no point offering a feature that ruins the printer, particularly when the second method of power loss recovery really isn't very useful anyway. Nine times out of 10, power loss recovery performed in this hacky way doesn't even work. Prints will pop off the bed as the bed cools down. The extruder can melt its way into the print as the Z-axis steppers lose power. And even in the best cases where a resume sort of works, you'll be left with big lines in your print where the perimeters are printed twice. Anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe for more content. Next weekend, we've got the review of the Creality 6SE. So I hope you will enjoy that one. See you next time. Cheers.